What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm back because we're going to locals again and it's a deck that I haven't played in a while but I really wanted to play in today's format and show you guys it's a still good deck and show you guys that it's still a good deck and that is Dino. Yes, we're taking Dino to locals today. It's been a while since I played this deck but you guys know it's one of my favorite decks of all time. Now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel you guys get vlogs like these ones, deck profiles, combo videos, shorts, all that good stuff so you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything now i'm gonna be honest with you it's currently 6 17 and my local starts at 6 30 so i gotta get going plus i gotta re-sleeve my whole deck because uh the sleeves that these guys are in are super super old so we gotta get to locals fast but i hope you guys enjoy thank you guys all by the way for 10,000 subscribers there is a 10,000 subscriber video coming out soon that you guys will see i'm just still working on that we're, we're getting all that stuff in the works but um yeah that's all i gotta say i know i'm kind of talking fast but we gotta get to locals and i'll see you guys when we get there all right guys so here's the deck you guys can see the whole deck is here in action here are the new sleeves so i got a resleeve we just got here barely on time we're actually five minutes late so um round one still hasn't started yet so then we still got some time to uh, receive and get things ready okay so we're going into a round one over here and we end up losing the die roll so our opponent goes first he normal summons a pudica i go imperm here i feel like this is the only spot where i can go into imperm he goes into sarah and has not much else to do so i go ov he hits me with the ash i just do some battle damage here real quick and then it goes back to him him. I ash his second Pudica and then here you guys can see we're just doing some quick poke damage we both kind of break but now we have double conductor on board and at this point we can just go for game which is really nice so moving on to game two here our opponent goes set three I go lightning storm he goes judgment but because he negated the activation I go second lightning storm and then from there we're able to actually just go Baguska here so that we can stop our opponent and then end up OTK him on the next turn all right so we just finished up with our round one honestly it's actually a pretty small locals today it's only about nine people so it's gonna be four rounds quick rounds uh, nothing crazy there's still 23 minutes so we finished that round one super super quick and I'm gonna be honest with you we were playing against trap trick and game one and game two you guys are gonna see in the replay we both just bricked I didn't open well at all game one I think I opened triple ash or double ash imperm something like that and then game two I just had a scrap raptor play he goes judgment on my lightning storm I had a second lightning storm which uh, because the activation was negated of the first one I can actually activate a second one fun fact so I had a double lightning storm broke his board uh did some damage ended on baguska and i was just hoping baguska was enough because that's how bad my hand was but i guess his hand wasn't as great either he opened a bunch of hand traps and uh i was actually asking i'm like hey man what's, what happened to your trap cards but it is what it is lightning storm is just that good i guess and dinos when you brick you still win it's kind of crazy but i'm gonna be honest with you I'm, I'm not gonna chop that one up to we outplayed or the deck did super well that was just our opponent bricked we bricked but uh i guess uh we bricked a little bit less which was kind of nice so that was our round one uh we're gonna be going into round two now but we, we still have 23 minutes so i kind of want to talk to you guys for just a little bit here just because it's one of those things where i mean like i don't i don't know what to do with these next 23 minutes also let's let's go back inside i'm, I'm gonna set you guys down and then i can talk to you guys i just really wanted to say thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers like that to me means the world and i really appreciate every single one of you the reason i continue to do this i come to my locals i film the duels i edit the videos i do these vlogs is because of you guys and i just really want to say i appreciate every single one of you and still being able to play dino and having so much fun with the deck it just you know to me it makes me happy so i don't know how we're gonna do with today i hope we do well i hope we top that's the main thing maybe we go undefeated regardless you guys are gonna get the deck profile maybe i'll show you guys a quick snippet of the deck now but uh, i'll give you guys a full deck profile later and that's really all i gotta say i know this is just a long clip of me talking uh, i don't want to bore you guys too much but i'll see you guys uh, when round two starts and if we get any trades or any cool things throughout the day i'll show you guys that as well just to give you guys a quick look at what the deck is kind of looking like it's your standard scrap dino stuff but I'm playing a ton of hand traps so we're playing ghost ogre Baylor, ash droll and the reason we're playing the Baylor, we're actually only playing one Baylor, um is because because we're playing cross out in the main deck i know the entire meta is just hand traps with super heavy and all that kind of stuff and i really wanted to play around hand traps so i think cross out is really important in this format especially in a deck like this one which is really susceptible to all of these hand traps like ogre ash Baylor, like it's really susceptible because unless you open misc all of these are going to be really good so again i'll show you guys the full deck profile later but i just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we're playing so we're playing three gamma seal and one dual grand this only one because it's searchable and uh you'd rather three gamma seal because it's a non-dino for you which is really nice although you never really are worried about non-dinos because they hand traps searching the one dual grand and having the gamma seals is really nice uh lightning storms harpies the third cross out just in case we're going first and uh we want to set up and make sure we don't lose to an ash or anything like that three barrier and three judgment for going first uh dolka 
So, um, yeah, you guys can see your typical stuff over here. Something I wanted to test out, but I'm not playing today, is actually the Excel Synchro Dragon, because it can make Baron for you. I, I don't know what I'd have to cut, though. Probably a Lingaribo. I'm scared of Mathematic, though. That's why I'm playing this. But probably a Lingaribo and maybe uh, the Tornado Dragon as well. If you guys see everything slipping out of my hands, because they're brand new sleeves, so everything's just falling out. Uh, but yeah, that's it really for the deck. I think this deck is really, really... I mean, okay, by round one, it kind of bricked, but uh, maybe that's just because of the new sleeves. I think it's very powerful, and of course, you guys saw we 2 owed round one. So let's see if we can continue that luck for the rest of the day. Bro, these, these sleeves are flying everywhere. Going into round two over here, you guys are going to see that we're playing up against Dragon Link, which, funny enough, is a matchup that I wasn't prepared for, although I probably should have been. Now, you guys are going to see we didn't open up with the greatest hand. We really just have OV, and then I think I have an Imperm and something else set here, which is okay enough to just bypass me the turn so I don't end up losing. He doesn't open super well either, which is kind of nice. We end up Imperming here, the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And you guys are going to see this game one is back and forth like crazy. Both of us don't really have much to do. We're playing it really slow. I have the Panker Tops there. I know you guys can't see it because of the glare, but the Pank there is just kind of sitting there just as another form of disruption for me, which is really nice. I go into Prosperity again here just to get some more draws, and we get the Scrap Engine kind of rolling, but I don't want to overextend too much so we go into battle phase and then once we start overextending our opponent hits us with the nibiru which is exactly why they want to overextend in the first place but he didn't really have much else to do so we're able to go conductor here and then just push for a ton of damage which is really nice and you guys are going to see that's kind of going to push us over the edge with the second conductor with the Oviraptor raptor normal summon and that's going to lead us into game two over here so game two over here you guys are going to see we go draw and lockbird our opponent ends up having the gamma and because of the gamma he gets the whole excel synchron and the Baron going and that's just too strong because that's just going to be able to put up that extra negation on top of everything else that this deck originally puts up so I ended up scooping it up I don't want to waste a lot of time we're going straight into game three here in game three I brick I open judgment imperm and cross out I think is what I open and it was just so bad because this whole deck is two card combos the cards in my hand are scrap chimera and ultimate conductor tyranno so it's literally just unplayable which is crazy so you guys are going to see I ended up scooping it up because there's no point in playing it out but man that was a rough round two. So we lost our round two. It was kind of unfortunate. I'm not going to lie to you. We we're playing up against Dragon Link. And we we're playing up against our friend Sharuk as well. Uh, he's a great player. And it was a very fun uh, round. Game one was pretty atrocious if you ask me we were just back and forth we didn't really have anything going um, i'm gonna be honest with you this entire day so we've played five games so far two in uh, round one and three in round two and i haven't been able to combo once i don't know what it is this entire deck is two card combos ov misc is combo ov dig is combo baby dig is combo misc baby is combo misc ov is combo like arco baby is combo you guys can see all of these combos and i I just I can't see a single combo today, which kind of sucks, but still a fun round. Uh, game two, I had to scoop it up real quick because he just the board was way too big. And then game three, I opened Judgment, Imperm, Cross Out, Conductor, Chimera. And then uh, I set the Judgment, set the Imperm, and I was like, okay, whatever. If I can live a turn, then maybe I top deck an OV or a Fossil Dig and I can play. I drew Judgment. So I, had to, I couldn't play out after that. So uh, yeah, we're 1-1. One, one. But if we go 2-0 the rest of the way, at least, then we can still top, which is nice. X1 tops. So um, I'm, we're not out yet. Um, I think this deck is still very powerful, but just I, for some reason, I can't draw my combos. But I feel like my bad luck is out of the way in the first two rounds because the next few rounds, I feel like we're going to open our combos and we're going to be able... I feel like we're going to be able to combo and we're going to... Oh. I feel like we're going to be able to open our combo and win some games. So uh, let's go into round three. I think it's about to start actually now. So there's like, we just went into time and I think people are just playing it out. So let's get right into it. I'm I'm feeling okay. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm feeling okay. Stay my Yep. I will go normal summon over after. Activate effects. I entirely forgot how dinos work. I'm not going to lie. You're about to find out, son. Am I about to find out? Yeah, uh, I can go miss you. So as you guys saw, we started off our round three pretty solid over there. Of course, we're going first, normal summon our OV Raptor, and we have the Misk to protect ourselves from the Gamma. You guys are going to see I don't even make the craziest board here. I could have continued to extend, but I ended on a Dolka and Pankratops just because I felt that was enough. The set card is Imperm as well, and I have the pill in my hand for the next turn so that I can go ahead and OTK my opponent. I didn't want to overextend just because I was afraid of more hand traps that, you know, my opponent could have stopped the scrap engine with. So for that reason, Dolka Imperm with the Pank was more than enough to win our game one. Game two over here, you guys are going to see they're going to get to set up the entire board. And the board is pretty crazy once it's all set up. And actually, I do misplay here once I'm trying to break the board. And you guys are going to see where the misplay is just now. No more OB. 
Thank you. Uh, I can dump. I don't have to. I'll chain the Pokemon. So you guys saw that the misplay there was I should have just activated Mist to start the turn because he had the pop card for the gold pride and then I chained Misk to Ovi to protect the Ovi but then he had the punk imperm card I forget what the trap name is but it's an imperm essentially and it ended up negating the Ovi otherwise I break the board in OTK so literally that misplay cost me the entire round which was so sad because if had I just started off by activating miscellaneous then none of that would have happened and I would have been able to OTK which is just really sad here but now I lose. Guys, we're just gonna shake our heads. It... <sighs> Man, we're so close. Okay, so uh, around three, the camera died, so I couldn't get the full footage. We ended up winning our game one against uh, Punk Gold Pride, and it was pretty quick, the game one. I set up Dolka plus an Imperm. That was actually funny enough enough. But that funny enough enough, by, by the way, that was kind of funny to say. But then game two, he was able to set up full board. I didn't really open a great hand. I had a Kaiju, but a Kaiju wasn't enough to break the entire board. And then um, we went into game three, and it was a back and forth. I had to proc twice, though, and it kind of ended up costing me because I didn't have anything left in my extra deck, and Conductor wasn't enough to go for game, unfortunately. So we ended up losing our round three. So we were X2 at that point. And uh, I decided to just, you know, give my round four to point at the win because X2 doesn't really top anyways. But yeah, it's still a good day. There's definitely some changes I would make to the deck. I think I'm going to keep testing it before I give you guys a full profile. Crossout today was okay. The thing that I noticed about Crossout that I didn't like was in my round three specifically, like I got hit with Gamma and Crow and both of those cards I don't have you know in my deck for cross out so cross out is kind of like really really powerful when you hit an ash or an ogre i hit ogre a few times which is nice but then the thing is with it is kind of like when your opponent is playing hand traps that you're not playing then it just is a dead card a lot of the time and dino is not one of those decks that's like really popular where i can cross out like another card like for example if i'm playing Ka kashtara at least i can cross out another fenrir or cross out a unicorn or something like that right but then when you're playing dino well i'm not gonna be cross outing an ov or you're not gonna see dino very often right so cross out very good in theory something that i don't think needs to be played anymore but with that being said we're actually gonna head out right now and uh get home because it's getting kind of late it's uh 10 17 p.m it was a good day it was a good ride i won't lie to you it was a fun fun locals i haven't got to play in a while and, and dino's still fun it's still not a bad deck it's just um definitely misplayed here and there especially in round three i think my rounds one two uh, i could have played as well as i could have and then essentially i don't even know if that just made sense guys but basically what i'm trying to say is you know the deck's still fine they didn't like it underperformed in my opinion because i always expect myself to top and do well but uh definitely there's some changes mostly the cross out is the biggest change i'd make because every time i saw a cross out other than like twice like i saw cross out like five or six times and it was good like twice and one of the times it was good it wasn't even actually insane it was just kind of like a bonus because he ogred my ov and i didn't have anything else to use cross out on so i just used it on ogre but even if he had ogred the ov like i was searching conductor for game anyway so that didn't really make that much of a difference but uh yeah i don't know if you guys are ever in the area though this is my locals untouchables right over here you guys can check it out and you guys can catch me here at locals and play against me maybe that's really all i gotta say thank you guys all for watching i really do appreciate every single one of you we didn't really make too many pickups in terms of trades today uh because it was a smaller locals only nine players so it wasn't anything crazy but thank you guys all for watching i do appreciate every single one of you thank you guys all for being here make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and with that spanko signing out peace by the way dino next time i swear to god dino we're talking with it